Big sight, <laughs> new paint. Go, go, big sight. Yeah. Y'all know how this shit go, you know. All eyes on me. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Roll up in the club yeah, right. shit. All eyes on me. All eyes on me. This is Kenny Jeans with MMAAbsolute.com and we're here with Scott Junk. We just got done winning here at the Jets Rapid Maui. Scott, for people who was in here, talk about the fight and how it went down. Yeah, it was a good fight. I knew it was going to be tough because I know Adam was the number one light heavy right now in Oahu, in the younger bracket. So, and the cut for me was really the hardest part about the fight. The going from freaking 270 about four months ago to 205.5. It really paid a toll. I could feel it. I understand why guys get so bumped in their fights at the lighter divisions. It was a, it was a, mentally it was the, one of the hardest fights I had because I had to dig through just being completely exhausted after the first round. And um, he rocked me too. Was, yeah, I wasn't expecting. I watched a lot of his films and he would I always throw the right hand to a left hook. So we drilled right hand, slip left, return the left hook. And right off the bat, he threw two beautiful uppercuts that really rocked me because I was standing so square, which is my fault. But then I dug deep, got up, took him back down, and I realized every time I took him down. Even though he got up twice, I could feel him getting weaker just because of my weight alone. I was heavier, so I kept pushing that pace. I would punch with him, and as soon as he hit me, I could tell he started headhunting, so I started going to his body, and then in the second, I thought the fight was over when I hit him with that left hook to the body, but he dug deep and he got up. So, but it really was one of my toughest fights ever since like Matt Mitchell on the show. So, it was a good experience for me. Way to let me know where I'm at. The light heavyweight division, yeah. Yeah. No, are you gonna stay at 205? Yes. I'm okay. gonna stay. I'm gonna try to keep my weight around 220 and just fight at 205. Chris, Chris Lieben and Reagan Penn helped me out a lot on this fight too, and they want me to drop 185, but that's not gonna happen. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna stay around 225 and fight at 205 from now on. Then, do you have any fights coming up, or is it still a little bit too early? Uh, I'm, I have two jobs, so I've been fighting. Just, this fight was for fun to get me into fighting again. Yeah, I, I haven't fought since last October. So I fought in Japan and I wanted to fight here at home because the fans here at home are just the best fans. They're nuts. They yell the nicest things I've ever heard and they get me fired up, yeah. But um, great, great fight. All appreciation to Kendall and, and Adam and their, their team. It was a, a really good fight for me. It was a great learning experience. Well, Scott, thank you for your time. Congratulations again. In closing, do you have any last words or thoughts? I want to thank my great friend and co one of my striking coaches, um, Brandon Akamine. He's the reason I got down to 205. I did the diet, but he put in a lot of work on me, a lot of hours on me, conditioning and working out, and he's the one that believed in me going to 205, so it was good, it was a good experience. Yeah. But take it for your time, best of luck again. Thank All eyes on me, little life is a thug, nigga, until the day I die, little life is a boss player, All eyes on me. All eyes on me.